We all know gardening is expensive, especially on the scale that I do it, and I'm a huge fan of growing potatoes in containers. And the most common question I get is, wow, that must be really expensive to do that. Is it really worth it? But did you know that you can reuse compost time and time again? In this episode, I'm going to take you through exactly what you need to do to be able to use this medium over and over again. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. If you want that perfect garden to relax in or just want to grow your own nutrient dense foods then start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Then click all to be notified each time I release new content just like this. You may be at home and just harvested all of your potatoes or carrots or whatever vegetables you wanted and you may have even had some plants day and because of that you're left over with all this used compost and you don't know what to do with it and the answer is to reuse it now you may have heard various people saying that you shouldn't really reuse composts and sometimes this is true but it's usually put out by organizations that are greedy and they would love nothing more than for you to hand over wads of notes every single year for you to buy fresh new compost and we all know that spent compost will have had all its nutrients used by this year's plants but it's really easy to rejuvenate it and make it as good as new. There is one caveat here though. If you have had disease, for instance, onion white rot, then this compost is best to be disposed of. But as a general rule, we can reuse it. In order to rejuvenate spent compost, it's a simple matter of using the dump method. Simply dump it into a huge pile on part of the garden or a tarp and then you want to get your hands into it and you want to break it up so if there's any roots or anything like that that are co compacting it together then that's what you want to do you want to literally get in there and break it up like that any of these bigger roots can go into your standard compost you don't need them this is a perfect opportunity to check that compost for pests and disease something like vine weevil or uh, slugs it's an ample opportunity now to get rid of them because these will kill your new little plants when you're growing them when you're reusing this product this is now ready to be rejuvenated so let's take a look how we rejuvenate it from this point on now there are various methods to rejuvenate compost but first i need to explain something to you compost is just a medium to hold air water and nutrients for your plants and it's also a food source for the microbial life in the soil now let's get to turning this spent compost into a useful product again there are many methods into rejuvenating compost, such as mixing it on a 50-50 basis with new compost. Even just doing this sometimes can rejuvenate the compost enough so that you can reuse it for the next crop. Manures are really good too. They help bulk out the compost and they build texture. They stop compaction and they add tons of microbial life into this new compost, which revitalizes it even good old topsoil can be added to your compost and this will add lots of soil life to this dead compost but not only that it practically doubles the the volume that you have to use in the garden the next thing to consider is to add a balanced fertilizer because as we've already discussed this is spent compost it's had all its nutrients removed so we now need to reintroduce nutrients into this compost there are many fantastic fertilizers that you can use such as blood fish and bone or if you're in the us blood meal and bone meal even products like seaweed pellets uh, can be used all you need to do is make sure that it's a slow release organic fertilizer when adding fertilizers be sure to follow the instructions on the packaging because you don't want to overfeed it is much better to underfeed than overfeed due to nutrient locking so now we have our rejuvenated fed compost how can we reuse it in the gardens number one we can continue to grow crops in pots with this compost. Number two, it can be used for potting on young seedlings. Number three, it could be used to top dress or mulch the garden over winter. 
Number four, it could be added to the compost heap. And number five, we could store this in an old compost bin ready for next spring or for our potatoes next year. Really, anything you would normally use compost for, this can be used for because essentially it's the exact same stuff. It's important to note that I haven't mentioned using this as a seed starter mix. And the reason for this is there could still be some pathogens or pest eggs within the compost. Now, if you were to use it as a seed starter mix, it may prevent the seeds from actually getting uh, mature enough to survive. Whereas once they are mature, then it wouldn't affect these plants. So at this point, if you haven't already used the compost as a mulch on the garden, then you are now free to use it for whatever you want to use it, minus that seed starting mix. So the alternative here would be to store this compost ready for use in spring. Now, we could refill the compost bags that it came in originally if we still have them. And uh, these could then be stored in a cool area or in the greenhouse or polytunnel. Alternatively, if you have the old Dalek style bins like I have here, you can simply shovel it into these bins and store it over winter and it'll be there safe without the rain affecting it and you can reuse this at any point that you require it. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you may remember me saying about the importance of soil life. Well, to use this compost in order to build soil quality, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to inoculate the soil. So it's a really good idea to inoculate this compost before adding it to build soil, and that's to bring in the soil life. Now, there are many ways in which we could do this. We could use a compost teas or something like Bakashi compost, which is a form of EM. And also, we could even bring in some worm castings. The great thing about doing these things is it adds lots of soil life to this compost and they will breed over the coming year. But you can also add additional applications as well to really enrich the soil life and this will hugely benefit your garden. So how long can we use this compost for? Well, pretty much indefinitely. As I've already said, it's just a medium that we can add nutrients to and keep rejuvenating it. But you do need to take some things into consideration. If the compost starts getting tired and picks up disease, then it's time to cut your losses and get rid of it. But growing your potatoes and other vegetables in this composting containers doesn't have to cost the earth. You can make your own compost or you can buy it. But if you do have to buy it, then you can use it over and over and over again. Don't think it's a one-time use product. If you got value from this video, you can subscribe here. And if you want to know exactly what you can do to build your own compost instead of buying it, but then reuse that over and over again, then I have a real detailed video here on the ins and outs of making compost. I'm Tony O'Neill, and this is Simplify Gardening, where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. Don't forget, folks, you reap what you sow, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.